Uh, I wouldn't want to be joining issues with my brother and friend and colleague, the Bauchi governor. But since he has chosen to continue to vilify and intimidate and blackmail me, it is said that silence is consent. I am compelled to respond to him. And I am beginning to think that uh, uh, my brother, the governor of uh, Bauchi State, is part of the terrorist Fulani organization that is terrorizing this country. Why do I say this? This is the same governor who took oath of office to protect the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. The Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria does not leave room for allowing foreign herdsmen or foreign tea people or Fulani people or Yoruba, as we see people all over the country, to come in without valid papers. This is a man who said that the Fulani man is a global man, so he can come in from anywhere and enter Nigeria. It is quite disappointing to hear a governor who took oath of office. Maybe he should go back and rehearse the oath of office he took, whether allowing foreign terrorist Fulani herdsmen to come into Nigeria, whether he is protecting the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And of course, his outburst recently that Fulani herdsmen are justified by carrying AK-47 to protect themselves. I don't know where the constitution of this country, of the laws of our land, allows any man or woman who is not licensed by security agencies to carry even then gone. Even then guns are licensed. How much more weapons like AK-47, AK-49, and several other sophisticated weapons. And the Land Use Act, let him go back and read again. Land Use Act permits governors, like here in Benway State, I have the sole authority over land. If federal government comes here to execute a project, they ask for land from me. And until I grant the certificate of occupancy, they cannot, whether in the forest or any part of the land. Let him go back and read the Land Use Act. Because as governor in your state, you hold the land on behalf 